Most of my videos so far have focused on helping the beginner and intermediate student gain basic skills that can be used to become more competitive in the Science Olympiad Structural Build event. But what if you want to take the next step and be able to compete at the highest levels of this competition? This series of videos will show some of the advanced optimization techniques I've learned over the years that should help with this goal regardless of the specific rules or device. I will share my one month journey where I built 22 different bridges and compare my results with the actual top national competitors. I decided to use the 2014-2015 bridge rules for this exercise for several reasons. First, I didn't want to show any final optimizations for this year's rules as that wouldn't be fair to many teams who are doing that process right now. I also really liked the rules that year as they were very pure, meaning there were very few design restrictions and no loading bonus, which means the score was all based on pure device efficiency. But don't make the mistake of thinking that because the rules were more simple that it was easier to compete at the highest level. Perhaps even the opposite was true. For my research on the archived Science Olympiad forums, I believe these were the top six scores at nationals for Division B in 2014 to 2015. What immediately jumps out at me from seeing these scores are that the top three are much better than the rest, and especially the top score from Daniel Wright Junior High School. I have never seen any of these devices, so I don't know anything about their design, but you can easily figure out their maximum possible mass by using the 15 kilogram loading limit, which can help in the optimization process, which I'll talk about later in the series. So what do these scores mean in the real world? To better explain, I want to try and simplify this event for those who have never seen it before and perhaps give a better intuitive understanding for what those efficiency numbers mean. This picture boils the event down to the basics. We must build a bridge out of wood that spans 35 centimeters or 45 centimeters for division C as shown here between the two blocks. It has to support the loading block in the center of the span and from that block we'll hang a bucket and gradually add weight until the device breaks up to a maximum of 15 kilograms. For this particular year, the efficiency of the device was your score, meaning the amount of mass it held divided by the mass of the bridge. The only additional design requirement for that year was that some part of the bridge must be 5 centimeters wide along the entire span. Okay, so that's all well and good, but what exactly does an efficiency of almost 5,000 mean? If we can only hold a maximum of 15 kilograms or 15,000 grams, that means the entire weight of the bridge must have been just 3 grams. I would say most people have a pretty good handle on what 15 kilograms or about 33 pounds is like in the real world. Two full weight bowling balls is a pretty good visualization of what 15 kilogram represents. But what about three grams? That is a much harder concept to grasp as we typically only think about things that light as being really light. So how can we better visualize that? How about a typical AA battery? That is way too heavy by a factor of 10 at around 30 grams. How about a single number two pencil? Well, we're getting closer, but if your bridge weighed as much as this pencil at around 5.5 grams, it wouldn't have made the top 10 at nationals. Here is a fun visualization using something most people have a lot of experience with. It turns out that just seven post-it notes weigh almost exactly three grams. So to win nationals that year, the task is to build something that weighs around seven post-it notes and can support two bowling balls in the middle of a 35 centimeter span. As I'll show in these upcoming videos, that is no easy task. Stay tuned for the next video in the series when I show my first build and outline the general process for how to optimize the results. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content.